Welcome to Famitsu Check It Out. My name is Paul Smith and this is OWRGames.com and I'm going to be looking at this week's issue of Famitsu. We can see that on the cover is The Last of Us Part 2. Um, yeah, it's a uh, it's pretty big issue so we're going to be uh, hopefully keeping under about an hour but um, who knows. Uh, it looks like uh, I flipped through the issue just before we started and there's also a cross review for the last of us part two so uh if you're uh interested in seeing what famitsu gave last of us uh tune in keep watching okay um yeah as soon as you open the cover uh the famitsu cover you're getting you're getting another famitsu cover right here um I'm not really sure what this is about, but um, it looks like a new game from uh, Yoko Taro and uh, uh, Takahashi. I don't know. Shin Kazu. I don't know. Yeah, we, we, we won't go with that. But yeah, there's another uh, 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 cover in here, so that must be a pretty important game. Uh, it looks like it's an FMV game, which might be pretty sweet. So I haven't really heard anything about this game. Uh, looks like it's called Death Come True, but um, yeah, we'll have to we'll check it out. Uh, as we move in, uh, it looks like we've got a a um, interview here with uh, uh, Ko, uh, Yoko Taro and Taka or Ko, Kodaka Kazu. I knew it was Kazu. Kazu Taka okay uh he's from tokyo games uh they've uh they've gotten quite popular recently um uh they're, they they do danganronpa so yeah um yeah so a huge interview with them talking about um that their new game and then here we are with this uh they do a, a little bit of information here about um playstation 5 so you're getting the specs, uh, some of the the things that are coming with it, um, a media remote. I don't know why we need that, but uh, probably going to be sold sold separately. Uh, HD camera, uh, Dual Sense. Uh, oh, so that's that's going to be a charging station. It looks like right here, and then uh, some headphones. Um, and then here are the games over here that they've announced. There was a big uh, PlayStation um, uh, conference last week, um, so they if you're up up to up to speed on that kind of stuff, you've probably already heard of most of these. Uh, some uh, standouts are uh, 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 Demon Souls. Uh, a new Horizon game is coming out. Horizon Forbidden West. Um, there's a new uh, Marvel Spider-Man from Insomniac Games that's coming out. Um, there was a lot of hubbub about that this last week, that it wasn't a completely new world. They're just taking the old world and adding another story to it. But I don't, I don't understand what the issue is with that. I think that's a great idea to use um, existing tech that you have and just add new story to it. So I don't, yeah, people were up in arms about that over the week um a new ratchet and clank, clank game coming rift apart um maybe i'm just not getting it but um ratchet and clank games uh titles have always been innuendos and i'm not getting an innuendo from that maybe it's just going completely over my head but i'm not sure what if there's any innuendo in rift apart uh, new Sackboy games coming from Sumo Digital. That's kind of interesting because um, uh, the Dreams developer. Um, what is what is the name of that developer? They're from the UK. Um, I mean, I'm sure that they're too busy with Dreams because Dreams is basically a a, a video game engine that they've put together, but. Um, yeah, it's interesting that this new Sackboy game isn't coming from that studio. It'll come to me sometime. Um, uh, Bug Snacks, uh, that game looked really sweet. Um, their uh, developer was on Twitter this week talking about how um, there's so much more to the game than than you can see already. Um, Grand Theft Auto V is going to be remade for the PlayStation 5. Um, 
Gearbox is doing Godfall. I'm not really sure what that is. I, I haven't actually seen the stream yet, so I want to go. Uh, I want to watch through it this weekend. Um, what else? Gearbox is also doing Tribes of Midgar. So yeah, Gearbox is buying in. Okay, let's move on to the top thirty. We don't have uh, a whole ton of time today. Um, so the top thirty games in Japan. Uh, we got a few new additions on here, so that's pretty sweet. Um, number one game is still uh, Animal Crossing. Uh, yeah, every single one of my students is talking about that every single day. Uh, second, number two is uh, actually kind of surprising, is uh, Xenoblade uh, Definitive Edition. Uh, it's nice to see that at number two. I'd like to buy that game. I played the hell out of it on Wii, and I'd like a updated graphics version of it. Number three is uh, Ring Fit Adventure. That's down from number two last week. And it's been on the top of the list for a little while here. Um, the next one is, uh, what do we got here? I'm not really sure what that is. An RPG of some sort. Um... A something Densetsu. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to figure out what the actual title of uh, number four is another time. Uh, number five is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Number six is Splatoon 2. Number seven is uh, Uta no Princesama. So the the Prince of Singing, um, Amazing Aria and Sweet Serenade, Love for Nintendo Switch. No idea what this is. It says it's an adventure game, and it's from a developer called Broccoli. So it's somewhat popular here. Uh, number eight is uh, Bayonetta and Vanquish for the PlayStation 4. Um, uh, this number four game that I don't know the title of, it looks like it came from Nihon Falcom, so it's definitely an RPG, but even if you look at the screen here, it looks like an RPG. Um, uh, that's also from the PlayStation 4. Uh, we've talked about this a lot in the past, but um, yeah, it's uh, PlayStation 4 games on this list are pretty few and far between. Um, uh, number 9 is Smash Brothers for the Nintendo Switch, and number 10, losing uh, looks like 5 spots, is Minecraft for the Nintendo Switch. Um, the other new game on the list is over here, number 21, uh, Dairoku Ayakashimori. Ayakashimori. I have no idea what this is. Let's see who the developer is. idea factory is the name of the developer so um let's move over to here we're going to talk about the um most anticipated games of the month uh tales of arise is number one ghosts of uh, tsushima is number two number three is the new uh, zelda breath of the wild game number four is bayonetta three number five is bravely default two uh cyberpunk 2077 has slipped quite a bit um, that was pretty pretty consistently in the two or three slot for a while, um, but it's moved down to number six. Um, and then the new Shin Megami Tensei game is number seven. Um, yeah, the Nihon Falcon game that I just talked about it looks like they have another one in that series. I'm wondering if that's um, uh what is it the trails trails series yeah uh number nine is last of us part two even though it came out yesterday and then number 10 is ushiro uh over here the rookies uh these are games that um are original properties number one we have ushiro number two ghosts of uh, tsushima number three is cyberpunk 2077 um Number four is uh, Ten Kyo no Sakura Hime. Ten something Sakura Hime. I never remember to look up that uh, that kanji. Uh, most most of these games are all pretty much the same. They haven't changed. Um, 
what is it? Uh, Elden Ring is the new game uh, being developed by the uh, um, the uh, developer of uh, uh, Demon Soul, Demon Souls and Dark Souls. Over here we have the cross review. Um, what do we have? Farming Simulator 20, Synaptic Drive. Uh, here's uh, Xenoblade Definitive Edition. Uh, pretty good game. It got a platinum, eight nine ten nine. So that's pretty good. Um, I have no idea what this is. Koi Tecmo Games. Probably some kind of like a simulation of the um, the the Chinese wars or something like that. Uh, and then over here, Last of Us Part Two got an excellent score, ten 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 nine, ten 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 nine. Yeah. So yeah, pretty good score for Last of Us. Uh, I'll check it out to see uh, what they're actually saying about the game, but. Mm. looks pretty good over here uh what do we have um death come true 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 yeah death come true i think um pretty good scores for that nine eight ten seven uh izanagi izanagi games not really sure what that is uh it's on the nintendo switch um, and then uh, uh, Brigadine over here also got a review. Pretty good scores for that, 8889. So uh, I think they have a larger article later in the magazine. So here's a big, the big feature for Last of Us Part Two. Um, yeah, as you can see down here, Japanese games cost uh, quite a bit more than American games do. Uh, we're looking at about a little over ten dollars more um and then you also add in the uh exchange rate yeah it's probably going to be 12 or 13 dollars more so um here's a look at the characters that are going to appear in the game uh they got a little information here about the enemies that are in the game um uh more about ellie and her story with uh these different characters um, I never did finish the first game. I got to, um, I have it. I got to a very uh, infuriating part, and uh, I played through it probably, I don't know, probably an hour, just kind of bashing my head against the wall, and um, I just never could figure out what I was doing wrong, and so I kind of put it down, and never went back to it. It's uh, kind of one of my great. Uh, um lack uh, areas where i'm lacking in good video game knowledge i need to go back to it um yeah so here's some information about the locations um uh this is taking place in uh apocalyptic world just like the first game so um i'm not sure if they're doing any kind of like flashbacks but um yeah survival uh, here's the interview with some of the Engl or the Japanese cast members. So um, it looks like they've uh, they they did a, a pretty quick translation of the game. Uh, creator interviews. So some of the people at the developer, the dev studio, uh, Neil Druckmann and uh, John Sweeney. John Sweeney. Um, manga. Play review. Not really sure what that is. is that, are they playing the first game, or or is this just like an extension of the cross review? Thought. Oh, no idea. Um, what else do we have? Uh, Famitsu's thirty fourth anniversary. Okay. I guess it's Famitsu's thirty fourth anniversary. Um, here's some information about. Um, uh the uh, uh animal crossing update i i need to get back to that game i haven't played it in so long um maybe i'll read this article and it'll get me back into it uh they've been doing this each time that they um they do an update of uh animal crossing in famitsu um they go and interview certain people about like what they've been doing on their islands and stuff um 
yeah, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I got some pretty sweet stickers here for Animal Crossing. Um, if I was a nice person, I'd probably take those to uh, the school that I teach at and give them away to the kids, but I'm going to fuck keep them. Those are mine. Uh, what else? Um, some heartening episodes about game. Game ni Matsuwaru Genki ga deru hanashi. Okay. So, yeah, it looks like they've taken some uh, uh, information about people playing games um and uh yeah put it put it in here uh i think everybody could use some good news about now and i think japan is pretty good at that like J japanese people have a pretty good outlook on life um i i would say that americans especially in the age of the internet basically the last the past few decades have become so cynical that um yeah it's kind of refreshing sometimes to hear japanese people talk about life um but that's a whole huge can of worms that we could talk more about some other time. Uh, over here we have the newest uh, Yokai Watch game. Sorry for slamming the table. Um, uh, yeah, Yokai Watch is not as popular as it was originally in Japan, but it's still pretty popular. Um, level five, the developer is um, the 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 developer that is bringing out that game, Ushido. And the problem with Ushido, um, it's been on the most anticipated list for years and years, and it's gone through a lot of development hell. And um, there's actually some people that believe that um, it, it's never going to come out, and it's just something that people are going to anticipate or hope for forever. Um, over here we have a Gundam game uh, coming to the PlayStation 4. I don't really have any interest in Gundam, so we're going to just swipe on past that. Um, yeah, uh, the Pokemon Expansion Pass. Uh, I think it came out yesterday, didn't it? I think so. Um, it doesn't have... Yeah, Hatsubaichu, so on sale now. Um, okay, what else? 46 games... So what do we got here? I have no idea what this game is. Oof run something or other. Nipponichi software. Uh, over here we have Ease. Death Stranding, Detroit Become Human. I think Detroit Be Become Human was uh, was maybe more popular here than it was in America. Fallout 76, uh, Uncharted, um, Persona 5 Royal, uh, Team Fight Tactics. Is that the one... Is that the the yeah that's the Riot Games one okay um, what do we got here uh, tre Tetris Effect um, Chin Chin Cho no no yeah some kind of uh, Koi Tech well yeah crazy game. Um, Room Factory 4. Maburu of Nantoga. Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, 13 Centennials. Um, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Fantasy Earth Zero. Fantasy Earth Zero. Only for the PC. Hmm. Uh, what did we have here? Odin Sphere, uh, Lev Levis Rochelle, however you say that. Uh, Bubble Bubble 4 Friends, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Street Fighter V Champion Edition, uh, Ark Knights, Tomorrow, Kata something. Or something I don't know 
Monster Hunter World, Earth, uh, uh, Iceborne, uh, Dragon Quest Rivals. That's a that's a good game. I've played quite a bit of that. Uh, Marvel's Spider Man, um, Terraria. Oh man, I've always wanted to like Terraria, but I just never could get into it. No Man's Sky. That was just added to um, uh, Xbox Games Pass or Game Pass. I always want to say Games Pass. Magic: The Gathering Arena. That must be pretty popular here. Uh, Magic the Gathering is quite popular over here. I have a friend that uh, plays Magic, and uh, he has English cards, and then he plays Japanese people in with Japanese cards. Um, what is this? Yug Dora Union. Uh, Yug Dora Union. I'm not sure what that is. Earth Defense Force, Iron Rain. I didn't even know there was a new Earth Defense Force. Forza, Forza Horizon 4 PC Building Simulator. Really? Okay. Uh, Princess Connect Redive. Um, I don't know. Some adventure game. Uh, Disney. Who, who is dead? Wonderland. Disney Twisted Wonderland. I've never even heard of that. Uh, Puzzle and Dragons, uh, Burnout Paradise Remastered, uh, Valhalla, uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2, uh, Yakuza 0, uh, Dare Ga Darega Tame no Alchemist. I don't know. Uh, Nyanko Tyson. Oh, that's, yeah, that's uh, the cat war thing. Uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. Near Automata, Fire Emblem, uh, what is it? Three Houses, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, uh, Animal Crossing. So. Yeah, quite a few games in here. Um, Dragon Quest, new Dragon Quest games coming out. What is this? Oh, that's an arcade game. Wow, I haven't seen one of those in a while. A new uh, RPG game, phone game coming out. Uh, arcade Archives, they're always bringing out new games. So, uh, Yeah, there's there's a lot of games in here I'm I'm not really interested in a lot of times. Uh, I always try to check out this one. This is the indie games uh, look at. Uh, most of, a lot of these games are already out. Some of them are coming out. Um, this looks like a bridge building game. So you're going to uh, have to build bridges over some kind of obstacles and get cars over them. Looks pretty cool. Um, 15 bucks it looks like. Uh, PC only. Might be kind of neat. Um, yeah, here's some other stuff. Uh, this game looks really good. I've been uh, reading a lot of the articles about this. Um, this is called uh, uh, Shoujo Jikoku no uh, uh, Doku Musume. Uh, so uh, the story is is that you're a boy or a girl. Um, you're gonna pick the character at the beginning of the game, and then um, you are you get stuck in hell with a um doku musume uh uh yeah a drug girl <laughs> and uh she takes over your body and uh your goal is to get out of hell and get to heaven but the doku musume's goal is to actually take over your body and uh get rid of you basically she wants a body so uh, this looks like it's going into more of the characters that are going to appear in the game. I just think this game's uh, art style is pretty cool. Um, Remnant from the Ashes. Um, there was an article in last week's issue, I think, about Remnant as well. Um, I think this game looks pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get to play it. But um, here's Brigadine. Um, Brigadine, however you want to say it. I always say Brigadine. Um, but yeah, some information about that, uh, the world, how you're going to traverse across the world. Um, I always, I remember going in blockbuster videos when I was a kid and 
seeing the box for Brigadine and always picking it up and like looking at it and wanting to play it, but just no looking at the the sphere grid and thinking, oh god, I don't think I could ever figure that out. Uh, so here's the actual information about death comes uh, death come true. So yeah, it does look like a um, what do you call it? B B VTR game is probably what they might call it in in Japanese. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, a live action game. So it's coming out for basically everything: iOS, Android, PC, PS4, and Switch. So. Who knows if it'll get translated into uh, English, but uh, yeah, I think this looks like it could be a lot of fun. And uh, with how interesting a person Yoko Taro is, I could see that this could turn into something really cool if they bring it over to the West. Um, Ninjala, this game is coming out uh, in just a few days, coming out the 25th of this month. Um, yeah, I've been reading up on this game, and um, yeah. I think that these guys are definitely going for the jugular on um, on Splatoon. It's not a one-to-one -one, uh, uh, comparison, but uh, the cool character styles and uh, the interesting action that is uh, going on with these uh, this game and it being free, I think it has a real potential to um, to really take over. And it's coming out from Gung Ho Entertainment, the people behind Puzzle and Dragons. So they know how to get people addicted to their games. So uh, moving on, uh, these are weekly uh, check-ins with uh, these these uh, column columnists. Uh, I don't usually read them. Um, we'll come back to the snacks. Here's the games coming out soon in the near future. Indie Live Expo 2020. They have a little wrap up of that. Um, that took place uh, basically all online. Um, what else? Um, yeah, so that looks about it. Synaptic Drive. So, okay, let's talk about the snacks. Uh, wow, I can't believe I've only been recording for a half hour, but that's whatever. Um, here's the snacks for the week. Uh, uh, Let's start with uh, the top here, uh, karamucho uh, chicken. Uh, so karamucho is a kind of spicy-ish potato chip that they have over here. Um, and so what they've done is they've uh, basically covered the the chicken in karamucho chips. Uh, I did get that a couple days ago, and it was it was pretty good. Um, I mean, like some of the wording on the signs were like oh my god i can't believe it's this delicious because it's this hot or whatever that kind of idea um and uh yeah but i it's not hot at all for especially for people that are used to eating spicy stuff um over here we have hollow hollow uh uh golden pineapple um this is going to be just like pineapple with some ice cream on top uh, right here we have a uh, curry pond, uh, so curry bread that has um, uh, some beef inside of it. Uh, down here we have what is this? okay, so it's a uh, a salted fish um, onigiri rice ball. Uh, down here we have a hamburger bento. Looks so so um chocolate and cream danish uh this is a uh, taiyaki it's gonna have uh, sweet beans and it looks like a, a fish um over here we have uh, uh ramen wagyu tantamen i think that's pronounced tantamen uh, uh down here we have a um koi nibo koi nibo yeah, I think it's koi. Koi noodle. Uh, it looks like maybe the name of a ramen shop. So uh, some kind of ramen. Um, this pork base. Um, down here we have a uh, asadi butter ramen. Um, 
new uh, potato chips over here. Um, uh, pepper and chino salt potato chips. That sounds kind of interesting. Uh, down here we have a matcha flavored. Uh, it's these kind of candies that are real popular over here. It's called uh, Kinoko no Yama. Um, they make two. The company makes two different kinds. One is Kinoko no Yama. The other one is Takenoko no Sato. I think. I think so. But they're exactly the same candies. They're just shaped differently. And there's this kind of ongoing battle in japan with kids over which one is better um they're exactly the same uh but this one is actually uh, matcha flavored so um and then down at the bottom what do we got oh i saw these uh yeah this is like a black pepper flavored chip um yeah it looks pretty good so i might try that so that's our issue of famitsu um Pretty good issue. Uh, we're definitely back to normal on the issues. Um, yeah, Last of Us is was the main main focus, uh, and then uh, they did have a lot of information about um, different games for the 46th anniversary, and then there was a pretty big article about um, uh, Yoko Taro's new game. Um, what what is it called? Death Death Come True. So. Um, yeah, it was a pretty good issue. Um, good to see the the uh, the scores for Last of Us and uh, Zeno 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 Blade Zeno Blade Zeno Blade uh, in the magazine. Uh, I've noticed that they don't tend to show reviews of good games, but uh, with this issue, they had quite a few games uh, being reviewed. So I'm gonna go in and read, uh, especially the Zeno. Xeno Blade and the Brigadine uh, reviews. I'm going to check those out. Last of Us, I'm not as interested in. Uh, let's see if I ever beat the first game. So it's been on my list for a while to go back to. So yeah, that's uh, going to be our episode of Famitsu Check It Out. We had a bit of a short one today. Um, yeah, I've got some stuff going on today and uh, I just feel um, a little rushed. So. Sorry if this episode was a little more rushed than um, you may have wanted. So I'll try try harder next time. Um, yeah, so this has been Paul Smith with OWR Games. Uh, check out my website, owrgames.com. And then uh, please follow me on Twitch, OWR underscore games. Uh, check out my Facebook. Uh, join my page there, uh, OWR Games. Uh, YouTube is also OWR Games. The archive for this will be going up um, later today, maybe tomorrow. And then uh, if I ever get my mixer fixed, um, check me out there at SOPACHUCO13, SOPACHUCO13. Uh, you can also uh, subscribe to my Twitter or uh, follow my Twitter on um, OWR Games or my personal Twitter, which I tweet to more often, which is uh, so Pachuco 13. So that will be our episode for this week. Um, catch me again next week for another episode of Famitsu. Check it out. And yeah, as I say, said the last few weeks, um, be cool. Don't, don't be a dick. All right. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. See you.